And I'm the Goo, and this is Gulps, Gulps and, and Games, the weekly show where we try out different drinks, give a little background history on them, and then we'll also play a game. We'll give a little how-to, trying to use different games that people might not have heard of, and uh, some days we might do classics like Monopoly or Jenga that everyone knows how to play, but we'll still have fun. So, let's get to it. And first of all, we want you to know we are not sponsored by the game or the beers we're going to be trying. And must be 21 to drink. And drink responsibly, please. I don't know if you can see them, but that's what they say. <laughs> now, we are married, and usually we would just share the same glass, but with everything going on in the world, we thought we would uh, still use different glasses just for everyone out there who might not know that we're married. So, uh, this week we brought two beers with us, mm -hmm. one local and one from Delaware. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about that one? All right, I have the Local IPA. It's spelled L-O-C-A-L. It is a low-calorie big beer, 95 calories. I normally don't go for light beers, but since I like IPAs, I thought I would try a light beer. Um, this is from Delaware, Milton, Delaware. And I my notes. He wanted me to memorize one, but I didn't. All right, so this was called Slightly Mighty from, like I said, Dogfish Head. It was founded by Sam Caligone in 1995. I'm not saying that right. Um, it's probably, or it's spelled C-A-L-O-G-I-O-N-E. Um, and this is brewed with a mighty aromatic, or arom I can't talk. Oh my gosh, how are we going to... Aromatic. Just, just start I'm just going to read it off. This can is a brewed with a mighty ar aromatic hop varieties that del delivers tropical notes with a slightly sweet balance provided by the monk fruit extract, which is a Chinese uh, delicacy, I think. We've yep, Chinese read. delicacy. Yeah. Sounds interesting. Yeah. All right. Am I supposed to pour it in? Not yet. Oh, okay. And then I brought, I chose to do a local one. It's called The Hef. See the little wiener doggy there, hopefully. And uh, this is from Franklin with Brewery. They did open in 1862 originally, but they've got over many name changes and own, owner changes. And then back in the late 90s, there was a tornado that hit Frankenmuth and uh, shut them down. The same day as the O.J. Simpson race, I remember watching the oh, tornado and that on the news. Yeah, Got I don't remember any of that. <laughs> um, but uh, the, the so the brewery was shut down until about 2009 when it reopened. It opened under the original name, and uh, the brewmaster currently, uh, since two, 2014, is Steve Buska. Uh, he does a really good job. Uh, we go there a lot and try all their beers, and um, they had a jalapeno one recently that was mm, different. Yummy. Spicy. Mm-hmm. Uh, this beer is their flagship beer called the Hef. It is a German Hefeweizen and uh, it's supposed to have sweet hints of clove and banana. It did win the gold medal at the World Expo of Beer in 2016 for best German wheat. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pour them. Uh, we each have our own glass. Yingling, not a sponsor, favorite beer. So you'll notice that she just opened up her can, that's fine, but with uh, a lot of craft beers, a lot of times a lot of the, the stuff falls into the bottom. So if you just hold the bottle up to the light, you can see it, give it a light shake, not too much because it'll explode on you when it opens. You can also but just roll it too. Yeah, rolling it sometimes works as well. They also, if they pour most of it out and roll it, I find just giving it a little shake works though too. I hope it explodes on you. Yeah, she always wants that to happen. So. Uh, Three taps, that's an uh, ancient Chinese secret. And, uh. Explode! Oh man. Ah. It, it ah. is exploding. Ah. Oh, so we're gonna go a ahead and. Explosion. You wanna pour on the edge until it gets mostly to the top and then finish her off, but I also need to give her some. Let's uh, start with the IPA. I'm not a fan of IPAs. I think they all taste like grapefruit. Smell it first. I, I know it's not wine, but I like the smell. Yep, it smells like grapefruit. It 
does still smell like grapefruit, even though it's not made with grapefruit. Cheers. Lahayum. Oh, we should both do that. What a I never say it right. Mm. I mean, it's not bad, but it tastes like every other IPA to me. I'm not saying IPAs are bad. I just am not a fan because they all end up tasting the same to me. Maybe if I had like a whole like line of, of IPAs to taste, I could say, oh, this one's different than that one, but. I'm a big IPA fan. And for being a big IPA fan, babe, I think I tasted mine, not the one. You were supposed to taste the IPA. Oh, this is mine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ugh. Should yeah. put her on camera, should I? That's why it tastes like not like it, because it's it's low calorie. Well, I guess for a low calorie IPA beer, it's not horrible. I would rather have a, like a normal calorie IPA beer. But for those who like to watch their calories, it's not a bad choice. If you're drinking beer, I mean, you're already gonna have calories anyways, and why not just go for the full flavor? Right, now yours. Now the half. This is the right one. <laughs> no, we should explain why we did the what we did last time. Well, hi. Well, hi. I just know it's an Irish cheers, isn't it? it? German. Oh, I'm sorry, German. I'm I'm Dutch You're Irish, German. so German. That's just what uh, my friend Matt Spencer else always did, so I picked it up. And I miss Matt. Matthew, please call us. <laughs> It smells like, like a bratwurst. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah. Like it's it's interesting good. smelling beer. It's good. Ooh. Why does it taste? Does it taste kind of pumpkin-y? I'm not. It's probably the banana taste that you're the cloves and bananas. Oh, I like it. It's good. It's sweet and smooth. Good job, guys. The Frankenmuth Brewery. Yeah. Uh, I do not. I did not see how far they shipped to. I know that originally they used to ship pretty far away, but then everything shut down. But now they've been getting back up and uh, you know sending them out. I, we find them at Kroger's. Well, because we live around here. Yeah, probably. but I've, I've seen them at Kroger's that aren't just in Frankenmuth too. Oh. I just I know that they send them out. I just don't know how far. So if, if you ever find yourself in Frankenmuth, Michigan, stop by. They have a nice large restaurant. Um, Okay food, but great beer. Now what? So now for the game aspect of this, and we'll continue sipping on our beers. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one off. Mm. We're going to leave a little advertisement mm -hmm. out. <laughs> We're going to play this new game out that came out um, last year, I think. Uh, Funkoverse. Now, everyone probably knows about these little pop guys. They've been very popular for quite a few years, and now they decided to make a board game. Uh, we bought these at Koi's Comics. Not a sponsor, but I shop there all the time. If you go to buy a game and you're looking for these, check out your local comic book shop. They usually have really good sales. They take care of their customers. Even when you're not a repeat customer, Koi's always takes care of everyone. Should you say where that's at? That is on Bay Road in Saginaw, Michigan. Hi, Koi's. <laughs> Uh, Steve and Brandy. I know it's Steve. It might be Brandy. <laughs> and uh, so this is the smaller one. There's a lot of them that only come in the two pack. And then this is the main game that comes with the four. Uh, this one you can play with just two players. This one is two to four players. And then you can combine them together and have six players all together. Uh, the smaller one retails for about $24.95. The larger one is $40.95. We're going to play both of them but in this video we'll just start with the main game and show off one of the types and in our future videos the next few videos we will um we'll detail all that because there's multiple ways to play i'll get into that so i'll just go ahead and put this on the side i didn't want to confuse anyone and play with both at the same time we'll just do them as separate games to show everyone how everything works I'll give you a little background about us since this is our first show. 
You're setting it up, right? Yeah, but I wanted to talk about things as I pulled them out, so. Oh, well, never mind. We won't tell you that. We'll tell you it's that a in just a second. It's a big secret. First you, first, <laughs> first you have your die. You have six of them. When you do a challenge, there's this little, I call it a star. It's supposed to be that Batman pow wham symbol. I don't know if there's a specific term for that. Looks like a star. I'm gonna call it a star. If you're attacking, you get one point for the star. If you're defending, you get one point for a shield. And each side gets three points for the exclamation marks. I'm sure they didn't, they didn't see that. Yeah, you probably can't see that. Um, but That's why we need to have a cameraman. Oh, uh, we are looking for a cameraman. If you yes. are interested, we can pay you in beer. Uh, and if we, are from, we film at our home in Vassar, Michigan. So you gotta be able to travel here too. These little, these little blue chips, they're actually, they're really cool looking. Um, just random little blue nuggets for your points. Um, so when you're playing with two players, it does say that you only need six points to win, but points are super easy to come by. So every time I've played it, we've always done to 10 points. In fact, the, the one time that me and my friend uh, Nick played it, we just played until all the points were gone because it was just such a quick game. Um, now you can go ahead and give them that, and I'll get the rest set up. Oh, our background? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm really Jennifer, and this is Nate, the goob. Um, we have been married for ten and a half years, and we had this idea rolling in our head to try beer and play games, because that's what we like to do. Although we won't always be drinking beer, we'll try other things, too. That's why we want with gulps. Um, that way, you know, any type of, of drink. And um, I thought it might be fun to do, like, you know, um, have our, our niece or our nephew on an episode. Since they're not old enough to drink, we'll do, like, a non-alcoholic margarita or daiquiri or something like that with them. I thought that might be fun. Yeah. My nephew wants to get into YouTube, too, but we beat him to it. Mm -hmm. Snooze, you lose, I guess. The game board does have two sides because there's four different ways to play it. Two of them use the one side, two of them use the other side. The one that we're gonna be playing today uses uh, the front side of it, which is, um, what is this? This is the bank, isn't it? Gringotts, green, green, green oh, gosh. bank. We like Harry Potter, but we're not extraordinarily into it. <laughs> like, we just probably mispronounced that bank. Sorry, Jay, sorry, Jay, uh, what is it? J.K. Rowling. <laughs> we recently, during this quarantine, just watched all of the Harry Potter movies, and that led to one night I woke up in the middle of the night just about to wake him up to say, oh my god, what is the wizardly world going to do? Are they going to know about the COVID and what to do? And then, before I woke him up, I realized that I was dreaming and that wizards are not real. <laughs> So now, each character comes with a little uh, stand to put them on so they don't fall over. Sometimes Pop's feet aren't that great. Plus, it also has white and black for good and evil. Um, most people know, you know, Voldemort and uh, Lestrange are evil, but who knows, maybe you want to play with Harry as the evil guy. You can do whatever you want. It's your game. You do have these, these are exhaust tokens. They just have the little no symbol on it. So as you play, you know who went when. It comes with items. We will be using the items. The directions say to play around first without items, but then never actually explains how to use the items. So um, the items are super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in. Uh, you can choose who you want to put them with. All the pops have a hand that holds something. Give it to Hermione, girl power. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have this backwards. These are extra little points that you are you want to get in order to get points. Um, I'll pull out the directions in just a second and show you why I know where who goes where. Just trying to get everything set up. In fact, I can probably just cut out part of this video of me setting up. Mm -hmm. 
The ones with the stars and the flags you will not need for this version. Um, in another video we'll tell one of the versions that does use it. Uh, with this game you get two, two pop characters and these little disc characters that um, are simpler. And I'll explain that in just a second as well. So um, let me pull out. There's a lot of setup to it. It's a quick it's a quick game, but you can play many rounds in an evening. It's really fun. Like I said, there's four different ways to play, so once you get everything out, you might as well keep playing, but I don't want a three hour long video. I'm sure you don't either. So here are the, the game cards. You have uh, flags, control, territory, and leaders. Uh, we're gonna do the control one, which is, uh, I consider it the main, the main one. Um, because it was on the top when we pulled it out and it's the simplest of them all. But that's where it shows where to put everything, where you start, and where the control areas are. And I'll get into that as we play. Everyone gets their character cards. This lists what spells you have. Everyone has a special power as well. Um, the special powers do not use any, um, any like of your power tokens. Um, the spells do. It also tells you, like, this one, um, Accio, costs two with a yellow, so you would put the yellow on your two on the slide down chart. You'll see that as we play. Then um, Harry Potter and uh, Lestrange each have cards that go with their spells. So she has this Confundo, which you would give a status card to someone. Um, I've never, we've never played long enough to use those, uh, but it's just a fun little thing that you can add to people. Then you have your item cards. It explains right on it what it does. Um, as we play, we'll make sure that we use an item so we can show that to you. And then each of the little pod character has their simple card, which just it really lists the actions that you can do because every Every character gets two actions per round, um, so you can do those. And then each character card on the bottom of it, it shows you the, the colors that they get. So like she gets a gray and a blue, so I will give her the, these little cost tokens, the gray and the blue, and then Lord Voldemort gets gray and yellow. And then she gets the other four that go to her two guys, uh, blue and yellow, gray and yellow. Because each one can only use a spell once in a round, and then you have to wait. At the end of each round, you slide everything down your, uh, your chart, this little number chart right here. And so if it costs two, at the end of the round, you go down one, and then one, and you'll get it back. There is this little little triangle token. You flip it to see who goes first, good or bad. I'm gonna go first because I know the game better than her and she probably already forgot how to play when we played it yesterday. No. Can I have it? So let's say it landed black side up. At the end of the round you flip it and then the good side gets to go first. So um, then you have your starting areas. You have this little area that's uh, 12 blocks big but you can only start in the nine in the corner. Mm -hmm. You can start anywhere you want in those nine spots. She's already got herself set up to go. Mm -hmm. I'm set up to go. So now I'm gonna go. Uh, so first off, I'm gonna go ahead and use, um, uh, Lord Voldemort's special power, Opungo. An ally Voldemort can see that is within four squares may do a basic action. So now that's going to cost not within four squares. An, al an ally. Oh, okay. So ally means my people on my team. Rival means the people on the opposite team of me. Um, so that costs two. So I'm going to put this on the number two. That is his first action. I'm going to use it on Bellatrix so that I can move her two spaces for the very beginning of the turn. Now that doesn't cost her any of her actions when it's her turn. But now he only has one more move. I'm going to move him two spaces. So now he's done, so you put a exhaust token on him, just so you remember that you already used him this round. And so now it's her turn to choose one of her characters to move first. Hermione, girl power. <laughs> one, two, one. Uh, oh, I can't. 
no, no, wait not till yet. the next turn. Yep. Well, I don't know. I won't hear it then. Okay. I'm done. Yeah, I know. You need to put an exhaust token on Oh, mind. yes, because I supposedly can't remember that I just used her. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead, I will use Bellatrix, and for her first turn, I'm gonna move uh, one, two, and then I'm going to use her spell Confundo. This costs three with the gray, so I put that on the three. I get to um, challenge a, uh, a target that's within four spots. Harry Potter is only three away. Can I use this to say? No, you can only use it on his turn. Oh, okay. So, um, so now it's a challenge two. So what that means when it says challenge two, it means you you roll two dice. If it's a challenge three, you would roll three die, and same thing with a defender would roll two or three. A basic challenge, uh, you have to be within the block, the surrounding area. Some of the spells allow you to be further away from them. So I'm within four, so I can attack her. So we're each gonna roll our die. I got two, because I have two stars. I have a shield and what are you she has a, a shield and a star, okay. so she only has one point. So that means I knocked her down. So I get a point for knocking her down. Let me move these points out of the way so it doesn't look like I'm cheating. And then I also get to give her a Confundo card. This is her special ability that comes with that, a status card. The next time this character does the ability action, that means one of her spells. Increase the cost of the ability by one, then remove this card. So the next time Harry Potter uses any one of his spells, it costs one extra than the number that it says it is. Um, Flipendo is a four, so to me that would mean it would cost five, so I would put it above the four, and you'd have to wait until the whole next round and move it down to the four then. Uh, I don't think many others cost that many. And now her turn, that was two moves, so she's exhausted, and now it's Jen's turn. All right, I'm gonna use one of my two ter two actions to revive Mr. Potter. That means are you so are you using are you using the aura to do that? Uh, if you're not let me let me if you're knocked down, it costs two actions to stand up. Oh, I can't but, revive myself. But oh, yeah, reviving right. yourself. That's but if you have hurt. if you have an ally that's near I'm you, sorry. the ally can revive you. Okay, it's only one of their actions. My ally is going. So now she, that means she her, she's using her aura because you can't switch between characters each right. round. And that was one. That was one move. Oh shoot! She can't do that. So not yet. I'm going to go one two. Okay. So I put an exhaust token on the aura, so you remember that you used him. And then now the only one I have left is my Death Eater, and. He can only do basic things, so I'm going to go ahead and move him one, two, one, two. And that is the end of his turn, and now it's your turn with Harry Potter. I'm reading my spells. Belleramus. Okay. <laughs> it says range three. I'm within three. Challenge, Challenge two. two. Take an item card from the target. Place it on the two of their clock cooldown track. Yep. You could do that. So. To Bellatrix. Yep. So now we each roll two die again. That's what the challenge two means. Yep. Roll two die. I got zero and you got three. That means she won. So yep. not only did I get... Not down. Knocked down, so she gets a point for that. But now my item card, which I only have the one item, the dagger, goes on number two on my cooldown track. When they knock down, you should play the Tug of Wubba song. What? The Tug of Wubba song. Okay. Or Chumbawamba? Chumbawamba, I get knocked down. <laughs> yes! Yeah, I think that costs money to use those songs. Oh, not a sponsor. just the music? Yeah, you have to have rights to play music to songs. Oh. I don't know if that song is one of those that's free to play. Who? Yep. Yeah, um, okay. Can we just sing it? I I, I would not. That oh. could get us in trouble too. Oh, okay. Don't don't. 
Um, she's new to YouTube. I've been watching YouTube for a lot, so I know a lot of people, and they're like, oh, no, don't do that. Um, so uh, sorry for that interaction. Um, all right, so now you put, so now your last one's been used. Uh, you, it was only a one. Now you need to make sure you put that on the two in your cooldown track. Did you use that spell? Oh, yeah. No, no, the blue one. Oh, yeah. Two. And then he has one more move. Oh, yeah. Line two. All right. So now that that, that would exhaust Harry, you don't, two offs, like, we already know that's the last one. You don't really need to put the exhaustion token on there, so... Um, we usually just, that's the end. So now in the end of it, you'll flip over this because the white gets to go first. Uh, uh, black went first the last round. Remove all the status changes. And then everything on your cooldown track moves down a row. So now everything, you move that down to number one. So now once it moves off of number one, I get those back. Um, so it's your turn to go first. Oh, hey, you. this is gone now, but you use the ability. This costs three instead of just two. So it'll be on your two. Oh. I forgot. Sorry about that. We've I, that's the first time we've ever used that attack on someone. All right, your turn. Okay. Can I put a spell on someone who's knocked down? Yes, because oh, okay. if you knock someone out, then they have to go on the cooldown track um, for that whole round. You don't get to use them for that round. So, I am right in front of you, so you don't even need to use a spell. You can just use a, a oh, basic challenge. I'm gonna do a basic challenge. Come on. I got a one, and she got a one, and a tie means I win. Oh, why so, can't it be like risk? And then, so you can do a second basic challenge, so it's just one move if you want to try again. Yeah. I got four, because I got the exclamation points, that counts as three, and a shield. And she got three, so that means I won. So again. now Harry Potter is exhausted, and it is my turn. I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use Lord Voldemort here. What do I want to do? I'm going to move him up one, and then over two, and then I'm going to since so now you have these three um, what are they called control areas. So if you're within the four areas right here, the uh, four right here, and the four where Hermione is standing. Again, this is why we need a, a, a film guy, woman, person. Okay. Um, <laughs> then uh, you can interact with that area. So now Lord Voldemort's interacting. So what that does, it puts this little square here. So I get a point for getting that corner. And then at the end of the round, if that's still there, I'll get another point. And you can have all three control areas in your way and get three points at the end of one round. So now that's the end of Voldemort's turn because interacting is one of your actions. So he's exhausted. He's tired. He needs to rest. Mm -hmm. Hermione's going to interact with the control center. All right. So now you go there and you get a point. And she has one more move. Go. All right, put your exhaustion token on her. Now I'm going to use uh, my Death Eater here. I'm going to move one, two, and I'm going to interact with this as my second action. So now what this is is you get a point for interacting with it, picking it up, but then it's also a point itself, but you have to wait four rounds. So that goes on your cooldown track on number four, and after four rounds you get to pick that up and have an extra point. Um, all right, and that's the end of the Death Eater. So now it is your turn. One, two, one, two, okay. All right, put an exhaustion token on him. And now it is Bellatrix's turn, oh. and yeah. I'm gonna have her use both her turns to stand up. Are they kissing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, um, that's the end of the round. So now everything slides down. So I get my item back. I get my yellow back for Voldemort. And then uh, the gray goes down to one, the four goes down to three. And we each get one point because we each have one control area. Hmm. All right, when we flip this one over, and so now I get to go first. Mm -hmm. So uh, first I'm gonna go one, two, and then I'm going to interact with this. So I get a point for interacting with it, and I put it on my cooldown track. And that is the end of, of the Death Eater. 
Now it's your turn. I'm going to interact with that. Okay, so you get a point for that and put it in your cooldown track. See, I'm already at five points. I only need one more point in order to uh, win if we were just doing the two-player version where you get six points. Okay. But we used all three uh, characters. If you only do two-player, I believe you only use one player, one pop each. Uh, I've never done it that way, so I'm not 100% sure on that. I will, uh, when we go to the two-player game, I'll definitely be reading the directions and making sure I teach you right. All right, you went? Mm-hmm. Did you... Uh, Okay. I'm going to second time and put my box right now. Okay. So uh, now I am going to use Bellatrix. And I'm going to use her item, which the item allows me to attack. Uh, and then I get an extra non-challenge action. So after I do a basic challenge, I get to then move twice still because uh, it pretty much lets me do a basic challenge for free. So go ahead and uh, roll your die. I got one, and you got one, so Ty wins, and now she's going to move one, two, and one, two. Wait a minute, I thought that meant I won since we tied. You did, I didn't get a point and I didn't oh, knock you down. Oh, okay, 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 got it. And now she's tired. And now it's your turn. I'm going to interact with this so I just pick it up, right? Mm -hmm. I can't, there's a wall here, you probably can't see that in the game board, so I can't put a bell on it. Yeah, she can't, she, she, even though she is actually, um, like within the nine squares, the wall kept her from being able to see me. Alright, put the exhaustion token on him. Alright, so now it's Voldemort's turn, so I'm going to move one space, and I'm going to, <laughs> what? I never really looked at his face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then I'm going to use Opungo, which allows me to control an ally within four spaces. I used that already before, but I got the token back, so that goes to number two. I'm going to control Bellatrix, and I'm going to make her basic action interact, so I get to put a square down in front of her because she's in the control area. I get a point for that. And now he is exhausted, and I believe it is your last turn. Mm hmm. Harry Potter. Mm, one, two. And now I can challenge her, right? No. Why not? Because you don't have you don't have um, you even though I'm within three, you don't have the blue token anymore. You have to wait till you get it back. Mm -hmm. Challenge That's three nice. that is within one square. Oh. It says to all adjacent targets. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just move again. One and two. Okay. Can you, can you not <laughs> move me off the table? Why do you like them to kiss? They're looking at each other. They're about to attack. <laughs> all right, so that's his turn. So go ahead and exhaust him. Everything slides down the track. How many points do you got? I got five. I have six, but then I'm about to get seven and eight because I have two on the board and you have one on the board, so you get one. So yeah, I'm already at eight points. Two more points and I win. And uh, those might be super easy to get. Um, it is her turn first. Ha <sighs> hey, Why don't you go ahead and use your item because we haven't used that item. Who's holding it? Oh, Hermione's holding. It. Never mind. It doesn't. It doesn't matter because Hermione's the one that's holding it. You're not close enough mm -hmm. to attack me. What? How do you use that? So uh, that's when you use it. we might not get to this in this round, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it. the um, potion that she has is that Felix Felicious um, potion, the the luck potion that they had. Mm -hmm. So when you do For a Hermione. yeah, so when you do a when you do a challenge to a target you get to immediately just put one down with the three exclamation points up and roll the other die or two other die if it's a um, challenge three. Um, you get to choose who has which item and so uh, she gave it to Hermione. 
mine is too far away and the, the round might end after this round. So go ahead and attack me with Harry. Are you just doing a basic attack? Yeah. Okay. I got a one and she got zero. So I, I, I survived. Do it again. I got a one and she got a one, so it was a tie, so I win. So now Harry's tired. He needs to take a nap. Harry doesn't get tired that fast. Alright. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, mm. I'm going to go ahead and use Bellatrix and do a basic challenge to Harry. So I got a one, she got a three, so that means she won. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. I got two, but she got a three, so that means she won. So Bellatrix is tired. Ha ha ha. And now it's, it's her turn. I'm going to go after Bellatrix. Which one are you using? I'm gonna use my potion. But you're not anywhere you're not anywhere near me. You said it within nine spaces, didn't you? No, I didn't say that at all. Oh. You um but you can I believe you can use um Impoimenta uh range three challenge two. If you win also shift one of your opponent's ability tokens up one number of the uh cooldown track. And then you can also use the items that would be doing both of your actions in one in one move. Using an item is one of your actions, so if she does this, it will count as her one move. But I use that. I can't use the potion because I'm not. But if you out. use that attack, then you can use the potion. So it's using both of your moves in oh. one round to try to attack me. Oh, okay. Yes, and that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so you're gonna put the gray one on I'm number two. Oh, 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 two because yeah, it says two. Okay. And then we're gonna roll two die. But I get to put. Before you roll the dice, that one die to the fist. exclamation point, and then, and then you're gonna roll. roll the other two. So I need to get a lot of points here, and I did not get a lot of points. So she just beat me, so that knocked me down. So she gets a point for knocking me down, and now that was both of Hermione's turns. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna put put that on number three in your cooldown track. Is this all used up then? No, it, you, oh. it goes on number three in your cooldown track. Oh. And um, now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. So um, let me. All right, I'm gonna use um, fiend. F fiend. F oh no, never mind. I'm not close enough for that. Um, I'm just gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna move him. Uh, one, two, and then I'm going to attack Harry Potter with a basic attack. And I got two, and you got one, mm -hmm. so he's down. I get one point. Don't you have ten then? Nope, that's nine. Oh. And that was the end of him, so now it is your turn. I'm going to use my aura. Yep. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I was taking my turn. I was going right. to roll the die. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. One, two. I can't. You can do a basic attack to her. Even though she's down? Yeah, it'll knock her okay. out. Okay, I'm gonna knock her out. Okay. Woo! Well, she just got two exclamation points, so she won. So she got knocked me out. I go to um, one of the cool points for that? Nope. Uh -huh. And you get a point. Are you at 10? You're not at 10. You're no. at 8. All right, so yes, that's I'm at eight. that was the last one, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's the end of the round, because um, no, my Death Eater hasn't gone yet. It's the end of him, so now my Death Eater goes. Doesn't really matter what I do with him. Uh, one, two, one, two, and then it's the end. I get two points. She gets one point. You want to explain why we get those points? Uh, it's we still have the control areas. I get. Mm -hmm. I already explained that earlier. Since we, I still have two control areas on here, and there's one there. Um, that means uh, we have two points. Everything shifts down. Her special ability is when she shifts off the cooldown track, I can place her near any ally, adjacent to that ally. So I can put her right here because I'm adjacent to both of my two allies. 
And then um, since that was the end of the round, um, I would get both of these back. I, you won. I did win, but I was uh, still go through everything at the end of the round. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. I have nine. And she is nine. So I just won. So like I said, it's pretty quick. Um, there's a lot going on, but once you get it set up, it runs pretty quickly. And once you know what you're doing, you can go through these like super fast. I think that is the downfall is that there's a lot going on. A lot. And I like yeah. risk, and I think this is way more than risk. I don't. Or Ticket to Ride. Or Monopoly. Alright, well thank you for uh, <laughs> sitting in on our video. Um, if you have any suggestions for games that you'd like to see us go over, put them down in the comments. Or drinks to try. Yep. Any drinks that you want us to try. Beers, wines, mixed drinks. If you have like your own mm -hmm. special recipe that you created and you want to get it out there in the yeah, world. Lots of those. Put it right down in the comments. <laughs> let us know. We'll uh, look at them all. And um, please uh, hit that subscribe button. I believe it's a bell button now. And uh, the like and the share because we'd love for you to share us all over the internet. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for coming. Cheers. Well, hi, I'm. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Yes.